Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to share with you guys a few tips and tricks that will hopefully help some of you guys get more wins in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, I know a lot of you guys come to my channel looking for tips and tricks on uh, not only how to get better, but how to get more wins, good strategies, stuff like that. And, uh, and today I just wanted to make another video and give you guys a few more tips uh, that I think will really help you guys when it comes to getting more wins, whether you're just going for wins or maybe you want to get up on the leaderboards and press your friends, whatever, whatever you're playing, solo, duo, squads, uh, all of these tips should help you out. So without further ado, uh, let's jump right into these tips. So the first one that I have for you is to plan a smart and safe drop off. It's very important to actually have a plan and to go somewhere that you're comfortable with rather than just going to like tilted towers every game. Um, although doing things like that may be fun to go to tilted or go to these very, very populated areas, unless you're good at the game and very experienced it's going to be very difficult to get out of that situation at the beginning um, I'm like a lot of you I love having action at the beginning of the game I don't like going out in the middle of nowhere and not fighting anyone for like 10 minutes I just it's boring to me but at the same time I understand that if I go to tilted towers every single game you know my, my winning percentage is going to go way down because the chances of making it out of tilted uh, especially with with how many people are going there now it's just it's absolutely insane and it's very difficult unless you're very good at the game or you're very good at hide and seek so uh, I definitely recommend not going somewhere extremely popular I really like going to salty springs I feel like it's kind of right in between there's a happy medium with that location there's not a whole lot of people but there is some so that there is action at the beginning um, and what I like about Salty is that I've, I've created a strategy there, right? Like I've gone there enough times to where I have a plan, I have a strategy, there's a specific location that I like to land and, uh, and a direction that I like to go towards. So uh, once you kind of figure out where you like going, build a strategy around that, build a plan. And again, whether you're playing solos, whether you're playing duos or squads, use your teammates and, and, and everyone work together and, and kind of work that strategy in. And running it over and over again, you'll get used to it and, uh, and, and you'll give yourself a better chance of getting more wins. The second tip that I have for you is to loot and move. Basically, it's just to be quick. Um, so many people are so slow, and if you're new to the game, I completely understand. We've all been there. We've all done that. Um, but it's very important to move quickly. Um, obviously, the quicker you move, the more you're going to be able to loot. Um, but it's very, very important to attack people at the beginning of the game and not give them a chance to loot up and shield up and get ready to attack you. Let's say, for example, um, there's two houses next to each other, and you land at one house, and an enemy lands at the house next to you. Uh, if you have that opportunity, if maybe they fell a little bit short or you know that, that, that they landed on the roof and you get a gun, it's good to try to attack them as quick as you possibly can because uh, a lot of times what will happen is people will just kind of let them go and do their own thing and, and just take their time and, uh, and then that enemy will end up rushing you and, and it sucks being in a house when someone's outside jumping around on the roof trying to get in because uh, there's really nowhere you can go. You're stuck in the house until, until you battle that dude where, where that guy can come in from like three different directions. So... Um, it's always nice to be the person attacking someone, to trapping someone in the house rather than being the one getting trapped. So loot and move, try to be very, very quick and it, uh, it will help you out, it will benefit you in the long run. Third tip that I have for you is to collect lots and lots of resources. At the beginning of the game when you're not doing anything else, it's very important to gather as many resources as you can. Use that free time to be productive because um, you will need them later on in the match. I know a lot of people say, well, uh, when I kill people I pick up their resources. Yeah, that's true. Um, but you know, you might not kill a lot of people if you don't have building materials, right? Like if someone starts shooting at you and they start building a fort and you only have 36 wood, uh, you're not going to be able to do a lot. So make sure you gather plenty of resources so that if you do come across a situation early in the game where you need to build a lot, uh, you're able to do so. Um, that's kind of something that I've learned from the mistakes that I've made. Um, since the game's been out, you know, like a, a lot of times I didn't really gather a lot of resources. I didn't really care that much. Like I knew how to build. I liked building, but I never really thought about it, right? I was always just looking for people to kill. Um, and then I would run into a situation where, you know, I can't push that guy. I can't just randomly build ramps because I, I don't have enough wood to play with or I don't have enough materials to play with. So make sure that you gather lots and lots of mats um, so that you're actually able to push and, and defend yourself. The fourth and final tip that I have for you guys for this video is to pick your gunfights wisely. I know that sounds very, very broad, um, but it's very important that you not try to attack every single person in the game, especially when, you're, when you get down to the end. Uh, I see so many people that, that like to just go towards gunfire, and, and I'm a person like that, and a lot of my friends are like that, where we just kind of go towards wherever all the action is happening. 
But when you get later in the game, you know, you say you're down to like 10 people, the circle's fairly small, and you hear someone shooting across the map, it's probably smart not to run at them. Because uh, keep in mind, that's one dude shooting at another guy. That means there's like seven other people on the map that could be hiding or, or looking at you as you're running over towards them. So uh, keep in mind, you don't have to get in every single gunfight. I'm not saying to camp. I'm highly against that. Um, but but don't don't involve yourself with every single gunfight if uh, if you're trying to get more wins. It's just it, you, it doesn't matter how good you are unless you're ninja and you can take on the whole lobby at one time. Uh, it's not going to work out for you. So pick your gunfights um, very carefully and, and and try to choose the ones that you know you can win or that you have an advantage. Don't put yourself in a really crappy situation where you're going to end up losing and, and not get the win. So um, those are the tips that I have for this video. Hopefully these will help some of you guys out. If you guys want to elaborate, if you guys have anything else to add on the tips that I just gave, make sure to leave comments down below. Help everyone else out, including myself. Uh, but again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next. Yeah. Can we be